Hey, I'm Kristen Sanchez. It is Thursday, October 22nd, and here are the six things to know. The FBI says Iran is behind a recent campaign of emails sent to intimidate Florida voters. The emails ominously instructed Democrat voters in Florida to switch to the Republican Party and also perpetrated to come from the Proud Boys, the right-wing group of Donald Trump supporters that became a flashpoint during the first presidential debate. The agency says both Iran and Russia have obtained some American voter registration information. While the Florida Department of Health will be conducting a more thorough review of all coronavirus-related fatalities reported to the state, the department says fatality data reported to the state consistently presents confusion. Of the 95 fatalities reported to the state yesterday, 16 had at least a two-month separation between the time the individuals tested positive and passed away, and 11 of the fatalities occurred more than a month ago. Another five had at least three months between the time the individuals tested positive and passed away. Well, with just 12 days to go until the election, President Donald Trump and Joe Biden will debate for the final time tonight. It comes three weeks after their first debate, which was headlined by near constant interruptions. The debate commission has announced they will be muting the microphones to start tonight's debate segments. Candidates will each have two minutes of uninterrupted time at the beginning of each segment. Afterward, they can discuss issues with both microphones open. Former Vice President Barack Obama will come to Miami this Saturday to campaign for Joe Biden. Details on where he will travel have not yet been released, but his visit to South Florida is just one of many appearances the former president is making across the country. His first 2020 campaign rally on behalf of his former vice president was held at a drive-in rally in Philadelphia. The former president leveling criticism of President Trump and his handling of the coronavirus. The number of people flying out of Miami International Airport may be down, but TSA officials say the number of weapons being intercepted there is up. This time last year at MIA, 32 guns had been intercepted at checkpoints. This year, that's up to 42. At Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, 58 weapons have been confiscated this year. The percentage of passengers showing up with weapons is up there as well. Okay, so let's give you a quick update on the tropics. Still is hurricane season. Sometimes we forget. Hey, uh, we do have uh, Epsilon out there. It was a Category 3 hurricane at one point. Uh, slightly weaker. Should miss Bermuda to the east, but just close enough that we are still talking about tropical storm warnings across this region here. But that really should be intermittent. It looks like the system is going to uh, steer clear of the U.S. completely, which is great news. For us locally, we've got this flood watch in play here until 8 o'clock this evening because of the soggy week that we have had. So any additional rain will be too much. We'll see some isolated flooding. I do think a little bit less rain today, and that should help our temperatures. We didn't even hit 80 in Miami yesterday. Still some scattered showers and thunderstorms today. I think we start to see the trend for most of that rain to be down across the Keys today and especially tomorrow. And then hopefully we can really dry out next week. We hope so too, Adam. All right, those are your six things that you need to know for today. You can also always follow all these stories and check out the forecast on the NBC6 app. And remember, you can watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube.